Number 21. Identify the more polar bond in each of the following pairs of bonds. And then they give me A through G. So for each letter, we're going to have to figure out which bond is going to be the more polar bond. So for example, for A, would HF be more polar or would HCl be more polar? Now, to answer this question, we need to know how we're going to figure that out, right? Well, the more polar bond comes from the greatest electronegativity difference. So the more polar the bond, the higher your electronegativity, I'll just put EN, difference is. So a difference is just basically subtracting two values together. So in order to find that difference, you're going to take the electronegativity of the two atoms within the bond. And just know that electronegativity difference is always going to be a positive number. So in order to get that, always just subtract the atom who has the higher electronegativity minus the atom who has the lowest electronegativity, and that answer will give you the positive. Now, if you don't remember that, just remember that the electronegativity difference should be a positive number. So if you do get a negative, it's just the absolute value of that. All right? And the electronegativity values I put down at the bottom here. So it's always going to be these numbers that are like 2.5, 3.0, 4.0. Those are electronegativity numbers. And just know that electronegativity is basically just stating how likely a atom will attract electrons towards itself in a bond. So the greater the electronegativity an atom has, the more attraction it has for electrons in the bond. In order to talk about electronegativity, you have to have a bond of some sort. You can't just talk about an element by itself. It's usually with another element in a bond. So for A, between HF and HCl, which one would be more polar? Well, it just has the highest electronegativity difference. So you have to find out what the electronegativities of H and F versus H and Cl, find the difference, and see which one is the higher amount. So for HF, hydrogen is over here. The electronegativity is 2.1. And for fluorine, it's 4.0. So if I subtract these two, Remember, the electronegativity difference would always be the absolute value. So if you do 2.1 minus 4, or if you want to take the higher one minus the lower number, 4 minus 2.1, you get 1.9. So that's the electronegativity difference for an HF bond, right? And there's always a bond here. So H would be bound to F, or H would be bound to Cl, all right? So for HCl, hydrogen has an electronegativity of 2.1. Chlorine is over here. That's 3.0. If I subtract them, higher number minus a lower number, 3.0 minus 2.1, or vice versa, you would get 0 0.9. So since 1.9 is larger than 0 0.9, HF would have a a larger electronegativity difference, making it the more polar bond. So HF would be more polar. The answer for A would be HF, and that one's checked off. So now we just have to basically do the same thing for B all the way to G. So we have an NO bond compared with a CO bond. So we have oxygen in both of them. So let's figure out that number. Oxygen is over here. Oxygen is 3.5. versus a nitrogen, which is over here, and a carbon, which is 2.5. So nitrogen is the 3.0, you'll subtract those. Carbon is the 2.5, you'll subtract those. This you get a electronegativity difference of 0 0.5, because remember it's the absolute value. And this one, you would get an electronegativity of 1.0. Since 1.0 is higher than 0.5, CO would be the more polar bond, and that would be the answer for B. C, SH versus OH. So the H's are the same for both of them, and the electronegativity for H is 2.1. 
And now we just got to find out for oxygen and sulfur. Oxygen we know from before is 3.5. And sulfur right below it is 2.5. So if I subtract 2.5 with 2.1, I get an electronegativity difference of 0 0.4, as opposed to 3.5 and 2.1, which would be 1.4. Since OH has a higher electronegativity difference, it would be the more polar bond. So OH would be the answer here. And then I just want to circle this for last. So it would be OH, and that would be the answer for C. Moving on to D. I'll put D down here. D is between PCL versus SCL. So looks like chlorine is the same. And chlorine, we found out the electronegativity number was 3.0 from before. Now we just have to find out P and S. So P was 2.1. So I have to subtract those numbers. And sulfur is 3. Point, uh, sorry, 2.5. So if I subtract 2.1 and 3.0, I get 0 0.9. Because remember, it's always a, the absolute value is always going to be a positive number. And then between sulfur and chlorine, the electronegativity uh, difference would be 0 0.5. Since 0 0.9 is higher, PCL would be the more polar bond. And that's the answer for D. E. CH versus NH. So it looks like H is the same for both of them. So hydrogen's electronegativity is 2.1. But now we just got to figure out carbon and nitrogen. Carbon, we said before, was 2.5, and nitrogen was 3.0. So we both subtract the two numbers. For CH, you get an electronegativity difference of 0 0.4. For nitrogen, you get 0 0.9. Since 0 0.9 is larger than 0 0.4, NH would be the more polar bond of the two. So that would be the answer for E. And then I'm just going to go up here for F. We have SO versus PO. So the similarity is that they both have oxygen in them. And oxygen, like we stated before, had an electronegativity of 3.5. But now we just got to figure out sulfur and phosphorus, which we know from before. Sulfur was 2.5. And then phosphorus was 2.1. So when we subtract... 3.5 from 2.5 from the SO, I get an electronegativity difference of 1.0. And then for PO, 3.5 minus 2.1, I get an electronegativity difference of 1.4. Since 1.4 is larger than 1, PO would be the more polar bond because it has the highest electronegativity difference. And then last but not least, we have G. I'll put G over here. CN versus NN. So the similarity is that they both have N. And nitrogen, like we said before, was 3.0. But now this one has another N. So that would also be 3.0 minus. And carbon is 2.5. So when you subtract them, this is 0.5, electronegativity difference. And this one is actually 0. So since this one is a larger number, it's going to be the more polar bond. So that would be this. And there you go. That answers all the questions here. So this one was just finding out the electronegativities for each element, subtracting them, and then whichever one had the highest electronegativity difference had the more polar bond. And that's the end of that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. If you liked the video, give it a like. Um, and yeah, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be pretty cool too. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day. I'll see you guys in the next question. Bye-bye.